Why would recession affect you today? Right now we are entering recession and recession used to happen once a decade. But that rule seems to be broken ever since the year 2000 until now. Recession has already been the fourth time. It should be only the second time. It should have happened at 2010, 2020. But it broke and since 2008, we had one recession, which seems about fine, right? Uh, 2008, it was a really bad recession, but it seems to be a little bit too early. But 2000 seems fine. But right now we're entering a recession again. The one that happened in year 2020 was not really a recession that is natural. That one was caused by the COVID situation. But to be honest, there's no such thing as a natural recession. Recessions are all caused by the people that are controlling the economy on top, which means the government. During recession, there's going to be a lot of unemployment, which is very bad. And during inflation, which comes before recession, it's already really bad for them because prices are increasing and their salary stays the same because they don't get to control how much money they get monthly. That is based on their boss, which is how much profit they produce uh, monthly or once a year. And knowing the recession comes right after, which would cause unemployment, which is really bad for them. So in order to stay inside your company or in order to keep your job, you have to work harder. You have to produce more things to impress your boss. And if you are the unlucky ones that get unemployed, then you guys have to find another job, which other companies are also firing people. And you're trying to squeeze in to another company to get a job when they're already trying to fire people, which is really hard. It's going to be a really dark time for a lot of people. Economy will drop as America increased their interest rates. Because if America increased the interest rates, it will put everybody in a economy depressed face because nobody is really using their money so if they're not using their money then they kind of stop the economy from flowing and when they stop the economy from flowing people will start saving their money and people that are still unemployed have to find many other ways to survive to earn money it's going to be a really tough time because even if you wanted to start a business a quick business also only comes back with profit in around a few years time so it's going to be really hard and many people are going to suffer so i would say actually you should start saving some money right now or there's another way you can choose is to increase your income streams means side hustles or create more than one business to have more income at the same time having more income is going to help you during inflation and recession and normal times during normal times, you're going to just have multiple income streams and it's going to be great. And during inflation, some of your income streams are going to suffer, but some are not going to suffer as bad. But it means that you're going to still have multiple income streams compared to other people and that is very good for you. And during recession, as the economy is stuck, you can choose how to use that to your advantage by putting some of your incomes to a way that can put that to your advantage and some to different ways which those will stay a little bit in a depressed phase but the other um, businesses that you're running is going to be great for you so that would be one of the solutions even though you have to work extremely hard to get multiple income streams to even work together stock prices will drop so if you're investing in etfs or multiple etfs the stocks would drop too so it's not really a great time to invest right now even though you know dollar cost averaging you still have to know your timing you can't time the market but you can estimate at the very least try to guess or if you do your own research and you're gonna realize a phase where the economy is going to start rising then you start investing there because there's no point investing right now where your money is just gonna devalue all the way. And some people think that the recession might even end by the end of next year or the 
starting of 2024 which is really far really bad but we just have to try to get through it because that's how it works an average recession lasts about eight months based on the recession that happened in the 1990s and the recession that happened during the year 2000 but the recession that happened in the year 2008 which was the year i was born lasted 18 months so bad so many people suffered and yeah it must have been really hard for you know my parents to just give birth to another liability during a year of really bad recession but you know i'm here right now so it seems to be doing fine the COVID recession which happened in 2020 lasted about two months and as you can see recession used to happen once a decade from 1990 to 2000 and go way back but the flow of the inflation and recession was broken so right now this time we don't really know what will happen because the last recession that happened was two years ago so we don't really know what's going to happen. Maybe the flow of inflation and recession is going to go wild and maybe it's going to be really hard to adjust back to normal. But we just have to see and try our best in what we can do to make our life better. So that's what we're supposed to focus on and hope you guys have a good day.